picture this. You're standing at the edge of the universe, your heart pulsing with an otherworldly connection so profound it takes your breath away. Suddenly, that magical starlight begins to flicker, and you find yourself caught in the undertow of spiritual exhaustion. This, dear soul traveler, is the phenomenon we call twin flame burnout. When the universe conspires to unite you with your soul's mirror, it's like discovering a long lost melody that's been playing in your heart since the beginning of time. The resonance is electric, magnetic, almost supernatural. But here's the cosmic truth that few dare to whisper. This divine connection can become so intense that it feels like your soul is running a spiritual marathon without water breaks. When twin flames connect, they create what ancient mystics call the merger of celestial currents. Your physical body becomes a vessel for intensified spiritual energy, attempting to ground heaven's lightning into earth's soil. This process can leave you feeling depleted at a cellular level, as if every atom of your being is being restructured to hold higher frequencies of love. Picture your energy field as a spiritual transformer trying to convert all cosmic voltage into earthly current. Your physical symptoms are messages from your body as it attempts to integrate these powerful energies. Headaches might signal crown chakra expansion, muscle tension could indicate resistance to change, and that mysterious flu-like feeling might actually be your cells upgrading their capacity to hold light. Even when physically separated, twin flames maintain what spiritual teachers call the cosmic umbilical cord, an energetic connection that never truly severs. This constant energy exchange can feel like trying to power two houses with one generator. Your body works overtime to process not just your own energy, but the shared frequency you maintain with your twin. Your body holds ancient wisdom about this process of transformation. Each symptom is actually a sacred signal, guiding you toward better energy management. That bone-deep exhaustion isn't just tiredness, it's your physical vessel asking for time to integrate the profound changes occurring at a soul level. Learning to honor this physical burnout becomes a spiritual practice in itself. Just as the earth needs night to balance day, your body requires periods of sacred rest to process these intense, energetic downloads. This isn't laziness, it's divine self-care, allowing your physical vessel to catch up with your spiritual evolution. Your body is undergoing what ancient alchemists called the Great Transformation. Every cell is being recalibrated to hold higher frequencies of love and consciousness. This process can feel overwhelming like trying to upgrade an entire electrical system while still keeping the lights on. Your fatigue is actually a sign of profound energetic restructuring. Finding equilibrium in this intense energy exchange requires developing what mystics call spiritual sovereignty. Yo, the ability to maintain your own energetic integrity while staying connected to your twin. This isn't about disconnecting, it's about learning to manage these powerful energies with grace and wisdom. Your body is literally learning to speak a new energetic language. The physical symptoms you experience are actually signs of awakening as your vessel expands its capacity to channel divine love. Each ache, each wave of tiredness, each moment of depletion is actually a step in your physical evolution. Remember this eternal wisdom. Your physical burnout isn't a punishment or a problem. 
It's a natural part of your spiritual upgrade. As one ancient text suggests, the body is the temple where heaven and earth meet. Your fatigue is actually evidence of profound transformation occurring at the deepest levels of your being. Trust in this sacred process, beloved soul. Your body isn't failing you, it's faithfully supporting your evolution, even when that means slowing down to integrate these powerful energies. Each moment of exhaustion is actually an invitation to honor your physical vessel as it adapts to hold more light, more love, more truth. In the end, this physical burnout is teaching you the art of sacred balance, how to remain grounded while touching the divine, how to honor your human vessel while expanding into your spiritual potential. Your body isn't just surviving this twin flame connection, it's learning to thrive at entirely new frequencies of existence. Picture your heart as a sacred vessel that's suddenly asked to contain not just your own emotions, but the echoes of your twin's feelings as well. This creates an extraordinary sensitivity that can feel like being spiritually skinless. Joy becomes ecstasy, sadness transforms into profound melancholy, and love expands beyond anything you've ever known. This heightened state of emotional awareness can be both beautiful and devastating. Your twin flame connection acts like an emotional amplifier, turning every feeling into a profound spiritual experience. A simple interaction can trigger waves of inexplicable emotion, as if your heart is remembering ancient promises and forgotten soul contracts. These aren't just personal feelings, they're cosmic messages encoded in the language of emotion. In this space of heightened emotional awareness, you become exquisitely vulnerable, not just to your own feelings, but to the collective emotional field you share with your twin. This vulnerability is a sign of your heart opening to its true divine nature. Yet this openness can feel overwhelming, especially when old wounds and unhealed patterns surface for transformation. Each emotional wave carries profound wisdom if you learn to ride it with awareness. Anger might reveal where boundaries need strengthening. Sadness could point to areas requiring healing and joy might illuminate your soul's true path these aren't just feelings, they're sacred messages from your higher self. Navigating this emotional intensity requires extraordinary self-compassion and patience. Each emotional surge is actually a purification process, clearing away old patterns to make space for higher frequencies of love. Finding equilibrium in this emotional storm means learning to stay centered while feeling everything fully. It's about developing what spiritual masters call peaceful passion, the ability to experience intense emotions while maintaining inner stillness. This isn't about suppressing feelings, but about learning to channel them constructively. Remember this eternal truth. These overwhelming emotions aren't a sign of weakness or instability. They're evidence of your heart expanding to its divine capacity. As one ancient text suggests, the heart knows what the mind cannot comprehend. Your emotional sensitivity is actually a superpower in disguise, allowing you to perceive and process energies at profound levels. Known that every emotional wave is serving your highest good. You're not drowning, you're learning to swim in deeper waters. Each feeling that overwhelms you is actually preparing your heart 
to hold more light, more love, more truth. This isn't just emotional processing, it's spiritual evolution in action. Like two stars caught in each other's gravitational pull, twin flames engage in an elaborate dance of approach and retreat. This isn't just ordinary relationship dynamics. It's a divinely orchestrated process designed to strip away layers of ego conditioning and reveal the pure essence of soul truth. The runner-chaser dynamic emerges as a profound spiritual teaching where every step forward or backward serves the higher purpose of soul evolution. Imagine your ego as a master artist who has spent lifetimes creating a masterpiece of identity, only to meet someone who causes all the colors to blur and blend in unexpected ways. This creates an exquisite tension between the need to maintain individual boundaries and the soul's yearning for divine union. The push-pull dynamic isn't a mistake. It's a perfectly designed catalyst for a transformation. When twin flames meet, they activate what mystics call the great undoing. Your carefully constructed sense of self begins to dissolve like morning mist in the sun. This process can feel terrifying to the ego, which responds with various protection mechanisms running, chasing, controlling, or resisting. Yet beneath this surface drama, a deeper wisdom is at work, orchestrating a beautiful dance of surrender. As this divine dance unfolds, both twins experience moments of intense resistance, followed by profound breakthrough. The runner runs not from love, but from its own intensity. The chaser pursues not the twin, but wholeness itself. Each role contains valuable lessons about attachment, surrender, and divine timing. This isn't really a battle between two people. It's an internal war between human conditioning and divine truth. Each twin becomes a catalyst for the other's awakening, triggering profound realizations and challenging long-held beliefs about identity, love, and purpose. The ego fights to maintain control while the soul gently but persistently pulls toward surrender. Remember this eternal truth. The ego battle isn't a sign of failure. It's evidence of profound transformation in progress. Like a butterfly struggling to emerge from its chrysalis, this struggle is necessary for strengthening and growth. The very resistance that seems to separate twins is actually bringing them into deeper alignment on a soul level. Remember, in this cosmic dance, even the missteps are perfect. The universe isn't just choreographing our relationship, it's orchestrating a profound spiritual awakening where two souls learn to balance individual truth with divine unity. Your journey isn't just about finding love, it's about becoming love itself. When twin flames unite, they create an energetic field so powerful, it acts like a spiritual magnifying glass, bringing every unhealed wound and unresolved pattern into sharp focus. This is divine grace in its most intense form. Think of it as the universe creating a sacred pressure cooker where transformation becomes not just possible, but inevitable. The weight of expectations and twin flame connections can feel like carrying the world on your shoulders. There's an almost mythical quality to these relationships that can create an unbearable pressure. You might find yourself measuring every moment against an impossible standard of spiritual perfection, forgetting that even the most profound soul connections must navigate human reality. 
your twin flame connection reverberates through the corridors of time, awakening what shamans call the sleeping memories. Each trigger, each challenge, each moment of intensity isn't just about your personal journey. It's about healing ancestral lines, clearing karmic patterns, and transforming collective consciousness. It's like being asked to conduct an orchestra where every instrument represents a different aspect of your soul's journey. These unresolved issues are gateways to profound transformation. Each trigger becomes a doorway to deeper understanding. Each pain point an opportunity for alchemical change. It's as if the universe is using your twin flame connection as a sacred scalpel, precisely cutting away layers of illusion to reveal your true divine nature. When these unresolved issues surface, they often manifest in unexpected ways. You might find yourself reacting disproportionately to seemingly minor triggers or experiencing sudden waves of emotion that seem to come from nowhere. These moments are actually your soul speaking in the language of feeling, asking you to pay attention to areas that need healing. Your twin flame acts as a living reflection of your highest potential and your deepest wounds. In their presence, you can't hide from yourself. Every unresolved issue rises to the surface asking for acknowledgement and healing. This intense reflection can feel overwhelming, but it's actually a profound gift, showing you exactly where healing is needed. Remember this eternal truth. These unresolved issues aren't obstacles to your connection. They're the very pathway to its deepening. As one ancient text suggests, what you resist persists. What you embrace transforms. Each challenge that surfaces is actually a gift from the universe, an opportunity to become more whole, more authentic, more aligned with your true divine nature. Trust that every issue that surfaces is perfectly timed, divinely orchestrated, and absolutely necessary for your soul's evolution. You're not just healing yourself, you're participating in a cosmic dance of transformation that affects the entire web of consciousness. This is perhaps the most profound aspect of twin flame burnout, the inevitable spiritual transformation like a caterpillar dissolving in its cocoon, the old you must die to make way for your higher self. This process can feel like you're being rebuilt from the cosmic ground up. When spiritual awakening intensifies in a twin flame connection, it's like being struck by divine lightning. Your entire being enters an accelerated evolution process that can feel overwhelming. This is like cosmic expansion happening at light speed. Your consciousness stretches beyond its familiar boundaries, reaching for new dimensions of understanding. Just as a caterpillar might resist its dissolution within the chrysalis, our human nature often fights against spiritual transformation. This resistance creates a unique form of burnout, one that comes from trying to maintain old patterns while new energies surge through our being. It's like trying to stay asleep while the universe itself is gently but persistently shaking you awake. This awakening process follows its own sacred timeline, often defying our human expectations. Some days might bring profound insights and expansive awareness, while others leave you feeling lost in the cosmic void. This unpredictability is actually perfect, 
It's the universe's way of teaching us to surrender to divine timing. Perhaps the most challenging aspect of this spiritual awakening is integrating these new energies and insights into daily life. It's like learning to walk with wings, beautiful but initially awkward. Your expanding consciousness must find ways to express itself through your human experience, creating a bridge between heaven and earth. As your spiritual awareness expands, you begin to see everything through new eyes. Ordinary moments become infused with profound meaning. Synchronicities multiply. The boundary between physical and spiritual reality becomes increasingly transparent. This heightened perception can be both beautiful and overwhelming. Remember this. Your spiritual awakening isn't just for you. It's part of a larger cosmic plan. Your twin flame connection serves as a catalyst for this evolution, pushing you toward your highest potential. Even when the process feels intense, it's always in service of greater love and consciousness. Beloved soul, remember this. Even the sun takes breaks behind clouds, and even the moon has its phases of rest. Your twin flame journey isn't about reaching a destination. It's about becoming who you truly are. Like a garden that needs both sunshine and rain, your connection needs both intensity and peace. Take these moments of burnout as sacred pauses in your cosmic dance. Let them be the gentle whispers reminding you to return home to yourself. Ground your energy like a tree spreads its roots. Meditate like the mountain stands in stillness. And love yourself as fiercely as the universe loves all its creations. For in the end, the most profound twin flame lesson isn't about union with another. It's about the divine reunion with your own magnificent soul.